Hi everybody, it's Miss Christine and I am happy to be here today to read you some stories. We are going to read stories today about frogs and toads. But before we start, we'll sing a little hello song, all right? A hello friends song, okay? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, so glad that you could come. Let's do it one more time, right? Here we go. Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, so glad that you could come. And I am so, so glad that you could come. So let's read our first, well, first, before we start reading, I just want to show you a couple of pictures, okay? This is a frog, and this is a toad. You can't really tell from the picture, but fro the frog has moist, kind of almost like slimy, mucusy skin that helps him keep the moisture in. The toad has rough, bumpy skin. It's covered with things called, that are called warts. Also, frogs have very long legs. These are all, these are folded up here. Toads have kind of short, stumpy legs. What are the other differences between them? A frog can really jump a long way. And toads kind of do little teeny hops. But what I didn't realize until I was reading this book called The Hidden Life of a Toad, I didn't realize that toads started out as tadpoles also, just like frogs do. I thought that was really, really interesting because I never knew that before. I'm a grown-up. I should know things like that. But I didn't. So let's read a couple of poems first, okay, about frogs and toads. This is called The Frogs and Toads All Sang by Arnold Lobel. And this is our first poem. It's called I Love to Eat. I love to eat a fat. Toad cried, I eat all day, he cried with pride. I eat and eat until it hurts, then finish up with three desserts. Have you ever had three desserts before? <laughs> and when the evening darkness comes, I light the lamp and eat the crumbs. Whoa, I might have a big belly ache. What else? Is, oh, I wanted to read this one. This is called Pollywog School. Okay, and if I were back in school, I would want to go to Pollywog School. Underneath the lily pads where the mud is cool, many little Pollywogs swim their way to school. We go to class each day, said one, and all we do is wiggle. We do not read, we do not write, we only squirm and giggle. That sounds like a really fun school. So is there anything else I wanted to read here? Oh yeah, this, let's do this one too, okay? This is called Made for Toads. A sunny day is made for toads to leap and play down dusty roads. A rainy day is made for frogs to swim in swamps and under logs in weather gray or weather bright. For some, the day will be just right. Some like sun, some like rain. Some like hot, some like cold, some really like winter, some love summer. Everybody's different. And fox and toads are different too. Alrighty, let's oh, show you. This is my friend Frog <laughs> that I have in my house. Frog picks up his legs. And says, ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. 
Take and jump. Rip it. Rip it. Rip it. <laughs> That's my friend, the frog. I don't have a toad friend at home, only a frog friend. <laughs> so, let's read a book called, let's reach over here, Red-Eyed Tree Frog. These are, these are some of my favorite frogs. I love the red eyes. I love the grippy hands they have and the super long legs. But actually, red-eyed tree frogs are quite small in real life. <laughs> this one right here. You can see why they're called red-eyed tree frogs, right? <laughs> Oh, nighttime comes to the rainforest. The sun is going down. It's getting dark. The macaw and the toucan will soon go to sleep. This is the macaw. This oh, oh, is the toucan. Look at what a big beak he has. But the red-eyed tree frog has been asleep all day. Look at him sleeping there. Oh, it wakes up hungry. What will it eat? Hmm, here's an iguana. Frogs do not eat iguanas. Hmm, do iguanas eat frogs? The red-eyed tree frog is not staying around to find out. <laughs> it hops onto another branch. There it goes. The frog is hungry, but it will not eat the ant. It will not eat the katydid. Will it eat the caterpillar? What do you? No, you're right. No, it will not eat the caterpillar. The caterpillar is poisonous and would hurt the frog. Something moves near the frog. Can you tell what it is? Let's find out. Something slips and slithers along a branch. Ooh, there it goes. It is a hungry boa snake. Uh -oh. The snake flicks its tongue. Oh, it smells frog in the air. Oh, oh look at that frog. The frog goes jump. Oh, look at those long, long legs. Jump, frog. Get away. Whew. The frog lands on a leaf far away from the snake. Oh, he's safe from the snake. Um, what does the frog see on the leaf? Hmm, what? Does the frog see on the leaf? A moth. The frog sees a moth. Crunch, crunch, crunch. The frog eats the moth. That's what frogs like to eat. The tree frog is not hungry anymore. It climbs onto a leaf. The red-eyed tree frog shuts his eyes and goes to sleep. Goes, his eyes are sleepy, sleepy, he's asleep. Just as morning comes to the rainforest, the Yep, it's the red-eyed tree frog. It's written by Joy Kelly. Thank you.
Here he is on the back cover oh, on the leaf. Okay. Let's sing a little song, okay? This is a song. I have my little, my two other frogs here. <laughs> These are my little frog puppets. We're going to sing a song called Green and Speckled Frogs. And since I have two, we'll have two green and speckled frogs. You can start out with however many you want. 10, 20, 5, 1, whatever. Any number you pick. We'll do two today. It goes like this. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. One green and speckled frog sat on a speckled log eating some most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Okay, so if you'd like to sing that, you can. And if you'd like to make one of these, they're really super easy to make. Cut out a little figure, like looks like some sort of frog. Or you can even make a toad and put it on a crab, glue it to a crab stick. Okay, you can have your own frog and go ribbit, ribbit, jump and dive into a pool. Um, we'll be one more book, okay? one more story. This is not a whole book. This is from a book called Frog and Toad All Year by Arnold Lobel again. Okay, and the story we're going to read is a summer story and it's called Ice Cream. One hot summer day, Frog and Toad sat by the pool, by the pond, not the pool, the pond. I wish we had some sweet, cold ice cream, said Frog. What a good idea, said Toad. Wait right here, Frog. I'll be right back. Toad went to the store. He bought two big ice cream cones. Look at how big those are. Toad licked one of the cones. Frog likes chocolate best, said Toad, and so do I. Do you like chocolate best? Mm, do you like vanilla? Maybe you like mint chocolate chip? There's so many yummy ice creams, but Frog and Toad like chocolate best. Toad walked along the path. A large, soft drop of chocolate ice cream slipped down his arm. Uh-oh, this ice cream is melting in the sun, said Toad. Toad walked faster. Many drops of walking of melting ice cream flew through the air. They fell down on Toad's head. Uh-oh, I must hurry back to Frog, he cried. More and more the ice cream was melting. It dripped down on Toad's jacket. It splashed on his pants and on his feet. <gasps> Where is the path, cried Toad. I can't see. Uh-oh, poor Toad is blinded by the ice cream. Fox sat by the pond waiting for Toad. A mouse ran by. Oh, I just saw something awful, cried the mouse. It was big and brown. Oh, something covered with sticks and leaves is moving this way, cried a squirrel. Oh, here comes a thing with horns, shouted a rabbit. Run for your life. Oh, what could it be, wondered Toad, wondered Frog. <sighs> Frog hid behind a rock. He saw the thing coming. <gasps> it was big and brown. It was covered with sticks and leaves. Oh, no. <laughs> it had two Horns. We know what those horns are, don't we? <laughs> right, the ice cream cones. <laughs> Frog cried the thing. Where are you? <gasps> Good heavens, said Frog. That thing is Toad. Oh, 
Toad fell into the pond. Oh, he sank to the bottom and came up again. Drat, said Toad. All of our sweet, cold ice cream has washed away. Never mind, said Frog. I know what we can do. Frog and Toad quickly ran back to the store. Then they sat in the shade of a large tree and ate their chocolate ice cream cones together. So they both had got to have their ice cream. Yum. Do you like to eat ice cream on a hot day? I do for sure. For sure. All right, everybody. That's it for our stories for today and their songs. Except for one more goodbye song, right? And we'll sing. Oh, you know, and the frog will sing too. Okay? My friend the frog. Oh, goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. So glad that you could come. Look, one more time. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye. Bye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'm so glad that you could come. All right. Goodbye, everybody. I'll see you again real soon, okay? Goodbye.